What's up, guys? Ben Pakulski, Matt Bryduck. Matt's brought something up um, between clips, between takes, and I wanted to tell you this, and I'm going to tell you a little bit how to solve your problems. So, Matt, what's been your biggest issue um, in building your upper body? Um, my biggest limitation has been the stability of my shoulder joint and being able to maintain that stability throughout workout and workouts. So, why does that make perfect sense? Every single major moving a muscle group in the upper body atta attaches and inserts on the scapula. If you can't stabilize your scapula, you can't create tension in any muscle. So every one of you out there, your first and primary focus needs to be the ability to not move. The ability to not move your scapula. If you need to be able to stabilize your scapula in every possible position before you ever have any chance of developing the upper body. So everyone goes, oh, I can't build my pecs. I can't build my delts. I can't build my arms. It's because you can't stabilize your shoulder joint. You can't stabilize your scapula 100%. So the analogy I gave in the previous video, we have a rope. And we're trying to create tension in that rope. If this end is moving and this end is moving, there's no tension in that rope. The, the rope moves from both ends. That's what's happening to most people in their upper body. So we need to be able to stabilize that scapula so I can create maximum amount of tension over here. So the first and, and most important thing for you guys to do is learn to stabilize in all these different positions, protracted, retracted, uh, upwardly rotated, all these other positions. You need to be able to stabilize it there while you move your, your glenohumeral joint, while you move your shoulder joint or your humerus. But if you can't, find an exercise that, that artificially stabilizes it for you. So what's that mean? So this is why we built the Pakulski bench with the narrow back, and this is why we built the T-bench with the wide back. So the narrow back is going to allow you to do what? Challenge your, your shoulder stabilizers. So when you're fresh, when you have a lot of energy, when you have a lot of uh, substrate in your body, you're, you have lots of ability to focus, challenge the ability to stabilize your scapula. So don't have a stable surface. It's an unstable surface. He's making your body stabilize it. But once it's fatigued, or once you want some, the ability to generate output, you've got to stabilize that scapula, because the scapula is going to be a limiting factor. So um, we just showed you guys a tricep exercise using the cable, where Matt had to consciously stabilize the scapula back and down. As his scapula got tired, you saw him, you saw him start to shake. So now we're going to walk right into another exercise. He doesn't even know we're doing this, but we're going to show you. Matt, lay down on the ground. 